Well, hello everyone. It is spectacular to have you in the workshop with me today. I'm in my local maker space. This is a bolt with a gnarled knob that I made and I need to drill a hole through this so the gnarled knob stays attached to the bolt. And the tool I'll be using is this collet block. I've never actually used one of these before. And I'll be drilling a hole through the piece with using a Bridgeport mill. And the remainder of this video you will hear me talking through the microphone that I have attached to my shirt. The background noise is a little noisy so please bear with me. I think you can understand everything though. Now we take this over to the mill and we use our center finder and that's how we're going to find the center. And I need to get my collet block put it into the vise so I can get and find the center of the piece. Got to find the center here a little bit slower. Nice and easy. There it is. Okay. Now I got to come over this way. 125 thousandths to compensate for our part here. Correction. This is the large center finder. I have to come over 250 thousandths. Right there. And I had to get my center drill here for Find a 5 16 collet. Move everything out of the way here. Okay, I need to come over. This is a little over an inch, so I need to come over about 505 thousandths to get to the center. Alright, I'm over 505 thousandths and that should be the center. Now I just got to get some oil and then uh, go ahead and get the center hole started. Okay, we got a three quarter inch collet in the mill. Now we've got to stick our chuck in there. Okay, we've got our uh, 0.187 drill bit, or 3 16 drill bit, I should say. Just going to put this in the chuck. And we have to find our zero in the x-axis. Alright, now we can drill our hole. Ideally this thing should be, it should go on so hard that it needs to be pressed in. This is actually pretty loose. But that was the only drill bit I had. Uh, didn't have a drill bit that would make an exact hole that I needed so I just had to get close enough. Hopefully this will work. Don't like that at all. I was kind of starting to bend. Let me try wrapping some tape around there and see if it'll tighten that up. Be back in a minute. I think I finally found a use for this crap, worthless electrical tape. Well, I didn't get too much on there, but we'll see if this works. That's it. We are through. That is a little warm. Well, while that's cooling off, I'll go get my pin. Okay, now I gotta drive this pin into that there through both of them so we got leverage here. And I don't like the idea of trying to pound this in while it's on the bridge part. I don't think that's a good idea, so I'm gonna pull out the collet block and put it over in the vise. And I decided to put this into the soft jaws so I don't get this scratched up. Okay, let's see if we can't get this pounded in. It 
is not working out too well. Okay, very crude, but I think it should work. Give me a little pin and we'll knock that in more. See if we can't get this down even. That looks like it's going to be it. Now, what does this go to? This is a part for a mock-up for a small vise that I was making, making a prototype for so I don't have to, since I've never done this before, I made it out of nylon, which I got for free, so I don't have to make the screw-ups on steel. And this goes through here. Another pin goes through that hole. And this is a vise. Now, if you can imagine that made out of steel, which I'm glad I made it out of uh, nylon or plastic because uh, you can already see there's uh, something, something else I'd like to do with it. It's not exactly the way I like it. I am going to be changing some things around. So that's why we make things out of the cheap stuff first so we don't have to uh, go through 50 bucks worth of metal every time we make a prototype. Well, that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you next time.